Hello and welcome. Now, I have got a bit of an experiment set for myself, um, which is slightly unnecessary to be honest with you. Currently, my computer, my rig has 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, just like these ones. Actually, I've got it right here. I'll do a bit of unboxing as well, and I'll tell you what the plan is. This is one of the RAM that I've taken out of my computer right now. And fortunately enough, I was quite fortunate to get a, another 32 in the same speed um, as these ones, so which is really good. So my plan is basically to test. Is it worth me increasing my RAM to 64, double what I have right now? Would it improve any gaming? And would it imp improve any of my rendering? So I'll come to the conclusion later. First of all, what I did, I did some benchmarks uh, currently with just 32 on my gaming. Did a cine benchmark as well to see if it makes any difference to the CPU. Had a little look at the graphics and I'll come back to that later in my conclusion to see if it made any difference. And tonight also I'm going to be testing on a full on couple of hours proper gaming to see the feel uh, if there's any difference um, at all. So first of all just to compare the two. Um, now as I said I bought these ones quite earlier on and then this happened to come on sale. And I thought, you know what, it's probably just worth getting it for the price that I'm paying because currently they're quite expensive everywhere else and I managed to get the same colour as well and the same type it looks like so far. Only difference that I would say is uh, the model itself. So if I look at the back here, this one's got the, um, I don't know if you can see it from that far, but I'll just quickly repeat it on here. Um, this one says 4M2C. And this one here says 4M, so just basically 4M2E. And I don't know the difference between what that model uh, actually means in terms of, I'll be honest, I just don't know what it means. Anyway, having said that, I'll just quickly do some unboxing of this first. The so box come very well packaged. Uh, this one actually I bought it from um, eBuyer. Right now they're in a good price. So in the box, some instruction. Now normally you could have, uh, because I've got 32 and the speed of a 3200 uh, uh, megahertz, which is the same as my old ones, I could have gone for 36 and still would have been okay if it was cheaper, but now there's, you know, more faster you get them, more expensive it becomes. So once again, they have given the same sort of gumph to show you how you install it. Okay, and same on this one, very minimal information. Uh, if you're buying this, you probably know how to install them anyway. Okay, so if you don't, there's always help available. All right, so I'll just put the box here. So the box itself comes in two. Here we go, opens up, nice and easy. And these are the lovely, how do I get it out from there? That's the question. It comes out quite easy. Voila. So they look, should look identical to my old ones. If I will show you close up. So they look quite cool. Apart from the logo slightly, uh, actually they're identical in every way. As I say, only the model number here that sort of differs. And the speed is the same. Uh, 32 megahertz on the new one and they're 16, 20, 20, 38. That was a 30, okay, hold on a second. This is 38, 16, 20, 20, 38. And this one's slightly different actually, 16, 18, 18, 36. So I'm just wondering if there's a mistype there or something. Let me just check the other one as well. So this is 36, this is 38. I don't know what sort of difference that would make. Uh, voltage are the same, 3.4, uh, oh, okay, they're slightly different on the VER. So voltage 1.35, which is correct, VER is 3.4131. Okay, there's only difference is that, that's probably why they're slightly modeled differently. And I'm assuming this will be the same. So just looking at it again, 4141. Because they're twin, so they should be fine. They'll work slightly independently, but I think the way the AM, um, AMD processors and the motherboard will work, I think should be fine. So basically, I'm going to put this aside. This is 36. 
and this is 38 it's the only difference so anyway I'm putting them aside and I'll put them on today and I'll t uh, see how they will operate uh, on my motherboard with the system that I have now uh, apart from the model difference I can't see any um, anything that will stop me uh, stop it being incompatible with my uh, rig that I have got because they are made for um, my motherboard I've checked that so it should work so anyway this is the unboxing this is how they go on did I do this wrong around again yeah so I just push it back in and I'll install them on the computer shortly to see how it operates so here you go this is going to be just the gameplay uh, on 32 gigabyte of RAM and I'm just trying to work out the feel of it uh, just to show you how it is right now with 32 gig and does it really improve the gameplay and later on you'll see the 64 gig how if it makes any difference or not uh, now if you look at the stats on here I mean that's uh, quite common you can see the frame rates and uh, uh, other factors there as well um, so then just keep an eye on those and we'll go on to the next bit and see how well uh, it does it improve or not now having said that, I have done a benchmark on this on Cinebench just to see uh, what it is like on 32 gig and it did fairly well I must say um, but it's not the best but I, for some reason it was quite good enough uh, for gaming and doing document, you know, document work or editing so let me just quickly tell you what it is so in Cinebench the uh, score that was given it was 7847 and that is on 32 GB on my AMD processor Ryzen 7 2700X uh, and uh, combined with my RAM and the motherboard that's the best score that it was given to me so um, now later on I'll show you what it did with the 64 gig of RAM as you can see now that I have installed uh, the uh, RAM onto my motherboard there's four of them and um, when I do turn it on the light will go on of course as standard um, now that is together altogether 64 gig of RAM and that is quite a lot considering I, it's not really necessary as far as you probably hear from everybody it's not necessary to have any more than 32 unless you're doing a heavy load work uh, that relates to maybe video editing in large quantities um, it's for me because it was available at the cost price that I wanted to get and I thought you know what it's, it's quite cheap to get it right now compared to how much they are normally I thought I'll put it on there just to fill up the RAM and it does look nice and that's one of the reasons I basically bought it um, and that just to show that you know 64 gig if I would need it it's just there sitting there to be used so I've installed it now and now I'm going to compare it to how the Cinebench uh, uh, will uh, mark it and then we'll go to the gameplay to see if that makes any difference now that it's installed um, I do love the way it looks when it fills up all four slots and it give, does give it a very good look and that's one of the main reasons I bought it as you can see my system is now showing the 64 gig installed and I'll test it with the Cinebench shortly Cinebench is probably not the best system to test the RAM but it gives you a rough indication of how if there's an improvement or not and uh, we'll look at it right now to see how well it has improved or not and from what I can see straight away which is quite surprising it's actually gone down in the ranking than what it was before and I just don't know why that is um, although it's got more RAM I don't see any improvement on the performance through the Cinebench now that it's installed and to see if there's any improvement to the gaming we're going to look at the game performance itself and it although it may not indicate much it's just to see when I'm playing it and I'm going to let you know do I feel any difference with the 32 to 64 uh, gig of RAM I'll be honest with you um, after playing for a while now I don't think it has made any improvement to the gaming at all plus what I've noticed is which is very unusual the Cinebench uh, um, is indicating that the performance sort of gone down uh, slightly and uh, that doesn't make sense I don't know why um, but overall I mean statically speaking the look of my RAM the way it slots into its places fulfills the whole all the slots so that does look good beside that I could not see any improvement now when it came to rendering videos I've noticed that there was a slight bit of improvement now I didn't go through recording all the details but I can tell you it probably saved me uh, in seconds in terms of uh, how quickly it can render things the speed and performance of feel of the computer is not noticeable enough uh, by human I would say right now to make that much of a difference although I've doubled the RAM 
So in conclusion, having looked at the gaming and having looked at the Cinebench, I don't think I have actually improved my computer that much apart from the look. And that's quite sad, but going forward in the future, they will be demanding games and softwares that may come out, may be acquired to use that much RAM. But till then, 16 to 32 gigs is more than sufficient for any gaming or going forward, you know, uh, any editing as well. So my recommendation is quite simple. It's not worth it unless you can afford it or if you can afford it and if you're going to be using uh, in a special way where it requires that much RAM you quite you should be quite happy with 16 to 32 gig of RAM while playing game while the graphics card is probably more important in gaming because you need to have a much more uh, you use the RAM a lot more on there than the processing itself so that's only a conclusion I've come to and I hope you've enjoyed this and I know it doesn't fully clarify exactly did it improve that much but doubling something did not double performance of my gaming that was conclusive enough as it is so thank you for watching and i hope to bring some other interesting facts later